this incredibly rare ore fish was found off the coast of Taiwan and people are genuinely scared because in Japanese mythology, the ore fish are known as the messengers of the sea. They are sent from the underwater palace of the sea god to warn us people about natural disasters like earthquakes. These claims are not baseless though. In 2011, there were sightings before the Tohoku earthquake and the Fukushima disaster. Skeptics say that these ore fish are just injured like the one in this video has these holes on his body. They also say that the injuries may come from cookie cutter sharks, although that is just a theory because these fish are rarely ever seen. And that's because they live at depths of 600 to 3200 feet. They have no scales, their body is covered by silver guanine. They also have no teeth and so they feed on krill through their gills. All of these adaptions allow them to live super deep in the water, and it's an anomaly for one to even be recorded at all. In 1772, the ore fish was first described in a newspaper, and it wasn't until 2001 until it was captured on film. People definitely thought it was just a myth like a dragon or something, but no, this thing is very, very real. In 1880, the largest ever was caught, and it was 56 feet long. This is a legitimate sea monster. In 1960s, the largest one was weighed, and it was 600 pounds and 36 feet long, which is also pretty giant. And although there are many tales about this creature, there's very little scientific knowledge known about it. Most of the footage from Orfish comes from different countries, from just random people who see them, hurt, and want to help them. Although there was one expert who came in contact with one and said that he felt an electric shock coming from it when he touched it. Additionally, nothing is known about their breeding and none has been ever seen giving birth. Does this go along with the earthquake conspiracy as well? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments section. <laughs>